one of the biggest lessons I learned is that you don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be a policy wonk to participate in advocacy. Uh, in the beginning, I would admit that I was a little intimidated by all of the information out there. But if you have your patient's stories and you understand that it just takes a little bit of time, even if it's just sending a letter or calling your congressman or woman's office um, and relaying those stories, that makes a huge difference. Advocacy is really just educating people outside of our field about the needs of our patients, of our physicians, of our rheumatology field in general. And I have realized as I've done this that I know and we know way more about our field than anyone else outside of our field or anyone else in our government. Advocacy is important to me uh, to um, decrease health disparity um, and advocate for my patients in a different way uh, than seeing them in clinic every day. Um, able to help my patients um, increase their access to care and access to treatment um, by showcasing these issues um, to our uh, Congress. They'll be my patient's voice. Um, they don't always know the ins and outs of medicine or access to care. And um, by advocating for them, I, I'm, I feel like that's just taking my patient care to another level. Legislators, for the most part, are not physicians. A few are and they don't do the day-to-day -day job of a doctor. And so if they don't hear the stories about our patients who can't get their medications or the piles of paperwork that we have to deal with um, just to do our job, then they won't know that anything is wrong and there will be no change. I would say that access to care and patient um, prior authorization, step therapy, these issues that we're constantly lobbying for and bringing to bringing attention to are so important, especially for the community rheumatology practices. I realize that many people don't know that kids need a rheumatologist or that kids get arthritis or other rheumatic diseases. And I've realized that if our lawmakers and congressmen don't even know that kids are affected by these diseases. They can't make law and make policy that would benefit these patients that I take care of. Patient access to care is very important. And especially now with telehealth and some patients do not have access to um, internet or a phone uh, that has a good connection for a video conference, for example, um, the health disparity um, in this is, is very great. Government impacts our day-to-day -day practice in caring for patients. And time is incredibly valuable. And we need to be comfortable with sharing our voice, whether that's $5 to room pack or sending a few letters or spending an afternoon on the phone um, with other team members, with members of Congress. All of these small things can make a huge difference in being able to take care of our patients. Another great way to get involved with advocacy at home is to use the Voter Voice app uh, and to email um, your Congress members uh, um, about the important issues uh, that are affecting your patients. At Advocacy 101, which is part of Advocates for Arthritis event in September, is a really great way for even seasoned clinicians to learn more about advocacy and really get the basics down and just get more comfortable with it. 